Um, the Battle of Quebec was really a serious setback uh, for the American cause in the sense that it was the first real defeat of the Continental Army. Um, so this is a major, uh, a major failure in the sense that Quebec was really important. I think maybe we don't always think of Canada as being that important to the American Revolution, but General Washington, for example, had long thought that Quebec was very important. Um, and there was always, even after the failure of the 1775-1776 invasion, there was still talk about invading Canada. Um, it was never invaded again, um, but it, it was important. Um, it was a British stronghold. It was a base for further expeditions. If we look at 1777, uh, the British mounted a huge expedition from Quebec, um, the Saratoga campaign of 1777. Now, luckily for the American cause, uh, General Burgoyne, the British general, was not successful. And of course, they surrendered in, in large numbers at Saratoga. And this had the effect of, of bringing the French into the war on the American side as well. But even after 1777, um, there were many raids, smaller expeditions than the Burgoyne campaign, the Saratoga campaign. Um, but there were a lot of expeditions throughout the war harassing the frontier. Um, for example, in 1780, there were a lot of expeditions against uh, the Mohawk River Valley, and that was considered to be the bread bowl of the Continental Army. So they were always targeting um, anything that would, you know, harm the revolutionary cause. So I think it was, you know, really important for the British that they kept it, and I think quite a setback for the Americans that they didn't capture Canada and basically push the British um, out of the north. 